uh, thank you so much for shopping from the template shop by Lee. I am Ritu and uh, this is a small and quick Canva tutorial uh, for the purchase item that is uh, scan to pay the QR code. So let's just get into it very quickly. So one of the first things that I would suggest always is to uh, once you've opened the template go to uploads over here and just upload your logo so the thing is once you upload your logo i'll be using my own shop logo here for example so once you have opened the logo what it does is for example you just take this image over here and just move it across so now if you just click on any text or any element in canva and you go over here uh, in the color section as you can see you will get the brand colors you will also get the image colors as well so this is something that is extremely useful for you see if you click here on photo colors then you will be able to see all these colors that are in the logo so these are the exact colors so that you don't have to go anywhere else for <laughs> the branding color so you can just um, make it as small we will just delete this image later we will need it uh, for color correcting so yeah so now uh, let's start with the text so here is the text if you want to write something else just double tap on the text and you can write um, qr code you can write something like that if you're not happy with the font just click on it and you go over here and we can select from variety of fonts you can look over um, from the free fonts that are available if you have uh, pro then that is great i would always recommend canva pro if you are someone who uses canva a lot so we can just go with the classic font and now if you want to change the colors over here like if you see behind the image we'll just zoom in over here this makes it very easy and we'll just scroll up click on these like you can see these are like two different selections over here so make sure to select uh, the outside element and here you can see the pink color so for example if you just want to make it black so you can click on black and if you want to delete it entirely you can just click on the element and press delete but here i'll just keep it as black and yeah you can do the same for the corresponding ones or else you can mix and match and keep your different brand colors if you want uh, i would recommend you keep all of this the same uh, here you will add your business name or else if you have a business id uh, if venmo has or if your apple pay has a different business id you can always enter that or else you can just write the template shop by D. that is very big <laughs> that's a very big name so you just write that and yeah you can just control c that copies the text and you can just click uh, control v or command v and just see all the text are the same and this is all already pre-aligned so you don't have to worry about aligning if you are changing something then uh, you'll have to keep in mind the alignment so that it looks a bit aesthetic so uh, one of the things that you can also add is if in, in case you want to highlight these um, business ids what you can do is you just go to elements and here as you can see lines and shape we have this uh, square so you just move it over here and you can kind of align it and this marks as you see they just crop so you can just do something like this in case you want to highlight if it feels very bright or if it feels a bit overwhelming what something else you can also do is um, go over here on more and click on the transparency settings and you can just play around with them and see what fits your style and you can just do something like this so your ids are highlighted as easy as that and um yeah so moving ahead um yeah also you can edit these depending on what your store accepts so uh, i'll just show you something very quickly let's head over to google and um suppose we want to add like um credit card or uh, master pay that we have added over here um if you want to add something else over here for example let's just say we have apple pay already but again if you want to do apple pay so uh, you just go to google you search for apple pay logo um, black if you want to add you can write with transparent background for more accurate results which you might not always get so let's just move ahead with this i think this is okay you can also go with this let's go with this and we just uh, save the image and we go back to our camera design and we click on uploads and uploading our file so this is the file see this is something that happens a lot when you are um 
taking images from google so that does happen this is not transparent like the background is not transparent so what you can do is if you have uh, canva pro then obviously you can just take this image and canva has its own setting for removing the background but in case i am guessing you don't have so let's do something that i love <laughs> i love this website a lot it's called remove background remove.bg okay so you just go to this website and click on upload it's like free so it's generally the best thing so yeah okay here is our file uh, with the background and you just click on choose for upload you upload it you wait as you can see i've done previous work as well so yeah you can just click on download here and it automatically downloads we can click uh, on upload and we have our apple pay so here you see there's no background at all so it's with a transparent background and yeah there you go you can just resize by clicking on these crop elements that are given over here on the yeah so uh these outlined crop buttons you can click on you can resize play around and you can just place it where you need it and yeah that's about it uh so that is something i wanted to show you that is this really cool website uh remove dot bg it's extremely helpful if you don't have canva pro um yeah so that's it uh now that we're done with that uh you can select your three main i would recommend don't overcrowd this just make sure that you select three um payment methods that you like that can be turned into a qr so yeah that's something that you can do uh you can also create qr codes for your um suppose instagram you're really big on instagram or you're really big on tiktok then i would recommend definitely that you put your qr code over here for um tiktok or instagram and then you can just uh, take instagram logo and put it over here and write your at the rate over here as well so yeah <laughs> i'll just quickly show you another thing okay so uh okay so just type uh, qr code okay there you go so there's this website called as the qr code generator.com this is really cool uh, so any url so all instagram accounts have um a url like you can take out your url and you can just create like we'll just copy this remove <laughs> bg qr and we just put it in this qr code generator website just copy paste and you see here's the qr code like you can try and scan it with your phone just to make sure it's the right qr code and here is the download button that you can click and yeah there you go it's just downloaded and you can move ahead and just add it over here as an image so here as, as an example i have another etsy store so i have added my qr code on my etsy listing mockup so yeah that's there that's something you can do i know this is a lot of information so okay uh so okay uh we accept we can click on here change the text if you want i think this looks pretty decent so i don't want to change the text and you can uh, change your colors over here so if we go with the brand colors that is this green that i absolutely love so now as you can see like we cannot read the text obviously so we just click on the text this over here is the text color changer so we can go ahead and do a white so that it's really um readable and we can also if you want you can play around and make it bold make it italic or <laughs> not if you don't wish um yeah same with the other text let's go ahead and make it white and let's make it bold so yeah as you can see it looks very appealing and yeah here you can change uh, whatever you want to change and i would recommend in case for example if you are someone who accepts a visa you can what you can do is basically say click here on mastercard if you accept all of these keep it that way itself and you can keep adding here there is more space i've kept so that you can add more or delete whatever you don't uh, accept um so here for example you want to add something more like you want to add a uh, we accept visa card so just click here click on this duplicate option and now you see we have the exact size and the font that is copied so we just uh, click on this repositioning option and you can see there are guiding lines over here like these small little pink lines that guide you where your alignment is going which is a really cool feature of canva now you see i have stopped moving repositioning uh, our text and it says 0.146 that means everywhere so that means all these text are exactly aligned in the same amount of space so it looks very aligned because it is <laughs> so once we reposition and you get this number so you can just play around with it and it will automatically come just move it around a little bit and yeah once you get it what you can do here is you can just read the place the text um yeah so we did visa so yeah uh, we can follow the same thing you can just go to google download the logo go to remove background in case you download um something like this and you don't have um the background removed so you can just remove the background and 
resize resize your image and just place it over here so this is how it would look and yeah so here you just upload your logo i would suggest and yeah this image is there and we just yeah, there you go template store and now you can uh, remove this image if you want your logo and your um you can add your store name okay so just last thing is that we change these uh, up icons and there are uh, tons of um, social media logos and icons available on uh, the canva free version as well so we can just click on something for example you do facebook alert i would uh, personally personally recommend that just focus on four platforms if you have less than be it that's okay but don't overcrowd this space and always make sure to add like four main platforms that you do for example uh, like we don't have tiktok in india so in case i was doing it for my own store i would remove tiktok and yeah i would go here and i'll just click on facebook logo in element section i'll just search for facebook and yeah so uh, one of the uh, very i would say a trick kind of <laughs> to make sure that your elements are of the same size so what you can do is um see just zoom in to that area that we are editing and okay now we can see it clearly so we just reposition this over this another logo and you kind of adjust and see that you know it i uh, see it is perfect and then if you don't know how to move you can just use the arrow keys now see for example like i said before you get these numbers that means that it is perfectly aligned so you don't need to move it now and these are at exact same distance all of the icons and yeah this looks this looks great uh, one more thing i would uh, recommend is that you put your favorite or else uh, if you're more popular on pinterest i would recommend put your pinterest first if you're more popular on instagram i would suggest put your instagram icon first so there's yeah, just some random <laughs> marketing tip yeah so i think it looks good uh, just one last thing your your images uh, you can go to upload upload files and just upload all of your qr codes i just have this one qr code over here that um, so if you just click on the qr code it will come as this big image but if you're not we just drag and drop into the image and yeah that's it drag and drop drag and drop that's it so one of the things that i would recommend is that you make sure before printing or before downloading it just scan these qr codes from your own phone to make sure that these work correctly Uh, there's always this undo button and redo button as well you can also click command z to do undo so i'm just going to click over here and okay so yeah that is it and you just scan your qr codes make sure that uh, <coughs> make sure that all of them are scanned and another thing is make sure that everything is spell checked please please um, do cross check all of your um, business ids make sure that you have put the correct spelling cross check everything over here as well here we have not <laughs> put the visa logo that's all so yeah that is it and now for the last thing uh, what we can do is you click over here to share click on this download button and then you can download it however you want there there is a jpg option there is a png option there is a pdf as well i would always suggest you to keep uh, a png on your phone as well um, obviously keep a print but in case uh, the print is missing or the print is late to come to your store or anything like that uh, it's always a good idea to have it on your phone as well you can just keep it as a image as well because it's just a scanner so That's it for today and thank you so much again for shopping from my store. I hope you found this uh, extremely helpful. That's from my side. Bye bye.